The AI agent I'm gonna share with you in this video is gonna completely change your life. It can answer your emails, it could do phone calls for you, it could do data analysis, deep research, and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what it is and how to use it. Now the AI agent that I'm talking about is GenSpark Super AI Agent that can literally do dozens of things that are going to blow your mind. You could get started with this by coming to genspark.ai. And by the way, I'm not associated with this at all. I just think that this tool is absolutely amazing. So if we come into one of their new features right here, like AI slides, I could say something along the lines of, please make me a presentation pitching Tesla stock and why it may or may not go up. Literally, you could get this to make you a slide about anything. This right here replaces Google Slides, it replaces PowerPoint, it replaces anything like that because look at what this is going through and doing. This is the power of AI agents. It said, I'd happily create you a presentation analyzing Tesla stock. Let me first gather a bunch of information. So now this is going through and this is gathering a bunch of different information. It's doing a search, it's doing more searches. It's doing more searches about their robo-taxi FSD AI, the competitors in the EV market, their stock forecasts. It is doing a bunch of different information. Now it says, now I have enough information to create a comprehensive presentation about Tesla stock. Let me initialize the presentation. Now what this is going through, it's going to make me a eight presentation slide. I could have specified if I was doing this for school or doing this for work or doing this for anything else, I could have specified exactly how many slides I needed to create. But as you'll see, this is now going through and this is actually creating all the different layouts, all the different slides, and then it's going to start coding this and we will be able to export this as a PDF, as a PowerPoint, or however else we want to. And if we come over into preview right here, we can now see all the different slides that this is actually building out. And look at this. This actually looks like a pretty good slide right here. Now it's going through, it is planning out everything else, and then it's going to begin making it look beautiful. And then guess what? At the end, if I don't like anything, I could tell it, hey, change slide two, or hey, change slide three, or I don't like the photo that's behind in slide one, can you please go ahead and change that? Now I'm gonna let this do its thing, and then I'll show you exactly what this looks like when it's done and all the other cool things you can do with this tool. Also, while this continues to go, as we can see here, it's done with slide number two now, we could see all the different things that it could do here. We could say a topic and we can get professional slides. It'll automatically research, compile findings into slides. It'll add images, videos, sounds using AI, or from the web, you'll be able to change styles, add charts, add visuals with ease, import any document and convert it into an AI slide. For example, if you have a CSV file, or maybe you have a document that you wanna upload, you could do that and it will actually create this out of it. and you could activate your microphone for voice command control right here if you don't actually want to type to this thing. Now, as we can see here, it's done with a few more slides. So we have this starting slide right here. We have the next one, which is their current market position. We have the next one, which is their financial performance. And as you can see, these slides look very professional. They have a bunch of different things in here, like key challenges, they have great graphs, they have great graphics, and this is gonna go through and continue to build out an insane presentation. Now, the next feature I wanted to show off here is going to be AI Sheets. Now, this literally just launched like yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a bunch of different lead data to this right here. So we're going to click right here. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna to say to this, I am giving you a bunch lead data here. Please create a graph that shows how many leads I get every day, week, and month. I also want to ask you some questions about this. So we could upload in a CSV file right here and have it do a bunch of things here and manipulate it or we could actually get this to create CSV files or sheets for us if we had things that we wanted it to go ahead and research. We can see right here that we could say a query and get complete data-rich spreadsheets. We could auto-collect and organize data into structured tables. We could generate charts, graphs, visuals from our data. We could import any document and convert it into an AI sheet. And again, we could activate the microphone for voice control. So what we can see here is that this actually went through and this loaded up all of these different leads. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because I wanna be able to ask these questions very easily. Like for example, how many leads did I get on a certain day? Or how many leads did I get 
in a certain week or how many leads did I get in a certain month? And what we could see here is that this is actually going through and using a data analysis tool in order to be able to analyze this data. This right here, if you do anything with data for work or build any types of reports, GenSpark is going to be something you want to take advantage of. Or if you wish that you did more data analysis with work, more presentations with work, this tool right here is going to completely change your life. Okay, so this went through, it did all of its analysis, and now this is creating a web page for me in order to actually show off all of the different analysis that it's done. And once it's done, this is gonna look beautiful. I'm going to have a nice website here that shows off all of my data, which again, I could use in presentations, I could use in reports, I could use to make decisions. If I have any questions about anything, I just come in here and ask it. And boom, right here, we have a lead acquisition analysis board. We could see the average number of daily leads. We could see the peak. We could see the peak per month. And then we can actually see this in a chart with daily. We could see it with weeks. We could see it with monthly. It even gives us the lead source distribution. It did all this analysis that you otherwise would have had to pay somebody or have a full-time person on your team do. And guess what? If you want to ask it questions, just go ahead and ask it. It doesn't have to wait a day to respond to you or two days or next week i'll get it to you because it's friday today this will just get it to you immediately now before we get into the next three things that you could do like have it do phone calls for you or do your email or so much more i need to make sure that you smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest ai tools i upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them in addition to that if you go to the pinned comment below you're going to see the link for ai automation school if you want to learn how to automate your work with ai agents without knowing how to code or how to make more money from ai or even get one-on-one -on -one feedback from me on exactly what ai tools you should be using for your specific situation, you should check it out in order to get all that stuff. Now, the next thing that you could do with GenSpark is have it literally make phone calls for you. If you just come in here, you could set this up. Right now, it works for the US. It works for Japan. You go through, you verify your phone number, verify some other stuff, and then this will actually go through and be able to make phone calls for you, and this is what you'll actually get back. So if we click on this right here, we'll be able to see exactly what happens here. So call information. We could see the task that this was provided to do. You could see the thinking process it went through. You could see the call. You could see the time of the call, and then you can see the entire transcript of the call right here. And you could see this spoke to somebody for almost three minutes and it went through and said your table reservation for Alice Johnson's birthday celebration has been successfully secured. And then it actually goes through, gives you the reservation, and it also got them to do some nice special arrangements for this person's birthday. And if we wanted to, we could listen to this right here. Thank you for calling Lake Chone. For current hours of operations, transferring to Okay. Next Wednesday, please. All right, April 2nd? Yes, that's right. So as you can see there, it is literally interacting with a human. It was able to get through that initial auto dial thing in the beginning where it had to choose a number to get routed to the correct thing. It was smart enough to do that. And then this person on the other line sounds like they didn't even realize that they were talking to AI and that they were talking to a robot. And that is what actually did this. Now, I want you to think about this and how you could actually scale this out, especially when it comes to use case number four here. So agentic deep research. I'm going to click on this right here and I'm going to say I am running an AI automation company that is building out AI agents for restaurants. Please find me a list of leads in 34987 zip code. I need to only have leads that have a name, email, and phone number so I can reach out. In addition, give me some details on what kind of restaurant it is. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through and this is actually going to find me a list of leads right here. And we can get this to do several things once we actually have these leads. So as we can see here, this is gonna go through and this is going to actually do this. And then it's going to give me details on each kind of restaurant. It's going to give me their contact information. And then I can even get it to draft out cold emails to this, or then I could then use that call agent and tell it to call all of these things and try to book an appointment with me so that I could pitch them whatever I am trying to sell them based 
on the details that I get about what the restaurant is and the different things that I could actually offer them. So as we can see here, this is going through and this is using the maps tool in order to then find a bunch of different restaurants here. So it says, great, now I have a better understanding of all the restaurants. Let me find specific contact information for all of them. And I'm only going to give you leads that have a name, email, phone number, and it's going to start by looking up specific information for some of the restaurants that it's actually identified. Now here's what this has actually come up with. It came up with a bunch of different restaurants here, the phone number, the type, the address, additional information that it could provide me with. And then it also gave me some that have partial contact information. And now guess what I could do? I could go through this right here because it's created this for me with a complete list. I could upload this back into the other call agent and tell it to call all these and try to book times for me to come in and pitch to my services or just for me to talk on the phone with them. And then the final thing I wanted to show you with GenSpark is all the other different things that you could do here. You could generate a video right here with a bunch of different models. You could do image to video. You could change the different format. You could change how long the video is and you could have it automatically prompt. If you wanted to, you could also come into AI chat right here and turn on different capabilities like searching the web. And guess what? You could use a mixture of agents, which auto mixes the best ones for the specific task that you're doing or you could go through and access a bunch of different agents that are available. Or you could go through and access a bunch of different LLMs. They have Claude, they have Gemini, they have DeepSeek, they have ChatGPT, so they have a lot of the best agents in here. They also have an image studio where you could remove backgrounds as a magic eraser, you could redraw, you could have an AI try on, you could do image expand, you could do image unblur, or you could turn an image into a video, or you could just generate an image. If you come into all agents right here, you'll see that they also have some others that I didn't talk about, like agentic fact checker, or they also have translation right here, which can literally translate different things and auto detect exactly what language it was and then translate it back into English. And as you can see here, GenSpark is pretty much one of those all-in-one AI agents. You could do things like presentations, you could do slides, you could do images, you could do videos, you could edit image and video. It's crazy all the different capabilities that this has. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here that walks you through Claude's latest update that allows you to connect with over 7,000 different apps and integrations. I'll see you over there.